Good morning, schmoes. I am semi-transparent this morning because once again, I elected to wear green in front of a green screen. And I still have the transparent water bottle from yesterday. But I probably won't be drinking it because it's 9 a.m. And instead, I have this. Welcome to your morning Joe with your morning Joe. I'm Joe. And I'm yours. Thank you guys for all the, the, the resubs and everything this morning. You're super cool. Welcome to our Shadowverse stream. Sponsored... Wait, wait. Sponsored by Psy Games. Um, I'm glad you're here. Amy Lee and Bobatori and Marabou Streams and Aladotion, Sakura Jawaka and Genji and Sakura Dreamers Mega Dragon, Gamble Shroud, SGM Play, Silver Demos, uh, Realist Good Boy, Ash Boy, and Soft Guitar, Mira Mira Time Betrays, Mega M1 NTS, SLSL Streams, Golden Zari, Danielle, Ruse Zelda Echo, and The Wiz Roll, and Alyssa White, and Jesslyn, and Sakura Jawaka 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 Jawaka, and Sakura Dreamers, and Agrimar, and Taylor, and Silfire, and Acorn. And Twitch, Twitch link, and Twitch link, guys. I just said hi to, to Twitch link. It's not a real person. Well, I guess there's a which real person. Luna the God Killer is is projecting through. This is cool music. What are we listening to? I don't know. Anytime we've got Rainwave going on, you can type exclamation point music, and it'll tell you what's playing and who wrote it. Oceans Andrew. Andrew uh, Lures is a great friend of mine, awesome person, and he writes amazing music, and he's a great guitar player, and you should uh, basically make him your next god. <clears throat> I got the morning funk, <clears throat> but it's good. I've already been I've, re I've already been recording voiceover for like an hour before this stream because I had stuff that built up from yesterday. But the the good news is, is I have my donut. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Donut reveal. I love this place, this powder cake donuts. That's usually what I get. I get two, usually, because I want a reserve donut. Um, and in this case, I got powdered cake. And there's also an old-fashioned with chocolate on it waiting in my uh, reserve donut slot, which is an important slot for many reasons. Aladocious knows I do have the reserve donut. I love that I see all you guys talking to each other, that you all know each other, and it's amazing. I, I love you guys. You're cool. You make you make my day better because I know you guys are having good, a good time in there. Powdered donuts are indeed S tier. Soft guitar, you don't have to like old fashioned. You don't have to like what I like. You can still hang around. It's okay. We can like we can like different things. So what's going on? Yesterday we had some click and shtick. I made a couple of fun announcements. Uh, I'm the main villain in a game called Desperados 3, which you should totally check out. Uh, by THQ Nordic. And uh, I got to play a jerk and that was cool. Um, this Friday at noon, we are going to have a charity stream. I'm going to be a guest of GameSpot. The wildest thing that happened um, about that whole thing was that, like, as they were setting up their, their Play for All charity streaming month, right? There, an article came out that was like, um, GameSpot lands big name guests for charity stream. And like, my name was on that list. And I'm like, F that guys. My name is literally compared with the word to mean average. Like an average, average Joe. So like, it was just weird to be like, wow. Joe Zeej is a big name, g ah, give me a break. But I'm very happy to participate in GameSpot. Uh, all the people I've met there, it's fun. It's fun. I'm meeting. I'm meeting a new a tier, not tier, a, a new um, subsection of the gaming journalism population. Uh, after my participation in Fire Emblem, and it's been really neat to connect with people who have like a great passion for gaming and what gaming does 
for our uh, world and our communities. And so it's really cool to meet people like, um, you know, like uh, Lucy James is who I've been talking to for GameSpot. And I've met uh, some people from like Polygon and Kotaku. And it's been really neat to uh, kind of engage with people who are passionate about video games. It's, it's been cool. I'm gonna eat another bite of donut. Ow. What I'm worried about... is like... having, with the powdered donut, and having the beard, is having you guys have to look at like a really gross... you know... Powdered, sugared, beard, the entire stream. Yeah, so Shadowverse is having its fourth birthday. Um, which kind of blows my mind because Rowan was of the first, I think there were five, original. Uh, thanks Conquil. Of the original five house, not house leaders, come on. Um, class leaders? I, I can't remember what the, you, I think, craft leaders? Um, so, like, I've been in this game for four years. It was one of the first games I, I uh, landed. I think I might have auditioned for it before I got to L.A. and then booked it when I moved here. So, <laughs> you were supposed to j j destroy the polygons, not join them! Sorry. Polygon does great things. SGM Plays asks, what are some tips you have for aspiring actors to practice at home? Read everything. Read everything. Record, have a clip. Here, here's, here's a practice routine, right? And you can do this with any skill, pretty much. Find something that you really like. Um, find something that resonates with you, whether it's a commercial, it's a promo, it's a trailer, it's a video game, it's a cartoon. Do the research and uh, clip. It's warm in here already. Clip it, um, clip it, and then go back and mimic it. Record yourself doing the thing, and then compare it to what happened. And that's a good way to practice. Um, we call it transcription in music. If you want to um, get better at making jazz solos on saxophones, go listen to Charlie Parker and transcribe his solos, and then learn them and see how they fit in with the chord structure. Now that's a little more complicated, I think, than voiceover. But you can also, it's also a great way to study a language. So these are like, these are ways that um, you can practice many, many different skills. So yeah, go mimic something at first. For writing, if you wanna write books, you're gonna write derivative shit when you start. Don't worry about that, okay? Do what other people do and then move on. There you go. Why is like the Sultans of Swing? What the hell is this? Oh, so it's in the style of Sultans of Swing. That's funny. This is cool. Really like close with the, uh, yeah, it does sound like Dire Straits, but it's actually, um, it's a video game remix in the style of Dire Straits. Hopefully I don't get, get DMCA slammed for that like 10 second clip there. So, okay, there's my teaching moment for the day. Let's get into some, let's get into some stuff. Wait, I gotta go back. Hang on. We're gonna go to the game, you ready? Here comes the game stream. Um, I need to turn the music back up. Shadowverse. 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 Shad Shadowverse. Shadowverse. And now I gotta turn this off. Whoops. So, uh, a couple of things have happened because of the fourth birthday. You can actually get this, like, neat... It's not cartoony. I don't know what style this is, right? See, oh, here's a voice sample. I'll forge my own path. I'll forge my own path. I'll, I'll forge, forge my, my own, own path. path. I'll forge my own path. 
I'll forge my own path. The noble commander once served in Alistair's army. Though he bears the Black Dragon's curse, he's since learned to wield it for the protection of others. So there's like a, a new face set for Rowan that we can buy. I have a I have a ticket, so I'm gonna buy it. You're about to switch the Dragoncraft leader to Rowan. The leader has changed. So now we'll get him for a while. Um We got it. We got it. So now we can do that, which is cool. The screen is not centered. Let me look at my OBS. It isn't. What is this crap? This doesn't make any sense. Let's click this button. And we'll do this thing fit to screen. Okay, cool. Um, you guys were concerned about my crate, so let me let me open this up. I'm gonna claim all those items. Look at that. Wow, there's a lot. I've been oh jeez. Um There's a Grand Prix going on. Oh, I have fun uh, fun things to tell you. Where's my other I have missions rewards that I can pull to? Score rewards. Claim all. Got it. And then cards. Where are my packs? I got all these packs and now I don't remember how to open them. Oh, I gotta go. Alright. Holy smokes. There's a lot going on here. I have three. Let's do this. Legendary card packs. Whoa. Got some forest craft and some haven craft. I won't be using those. Anything else interesting? Kasha, which is Russian for oatmeal. Um, Catherine Epicurean Angel. I used that. That saved my butt more than once. I have 33 world uprooted card pack tickets. Holy smokes. Whoa. I have six ultimate cards. There's, there's a lot that I haven't cashed in, you guys. There's a lot that I haven't cashed in. So, they're, they've been having these Grand Prix. Which, you know, it's like, that's like a worldwide competition. And sometimes it's like, you can, uh, you, it's, uh, JJ Chara, I'm not playing you right now. Um. Steadfast Samurai, I hate that card. I hate playing against that card. Phoenix Empress, give another allied follower, Ambush. Ambush cards are neat. Ambush cards basically make it so the card can't be targeted um, until it attacks. Now, I don't think it 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 won't uh, it'll still die if you cast something that like deals damage to all followers. Um, but like it's a way that you can basically put a card on the board and then start buffing it up until you finally strike with it. I usually don't use them. Verdant conflict. Let's open these. I'm a real streamer now because I'm I'm opening cards. Anyway, so there's a Grand Prix and uh, I was playing. They had a rotation Grand Prix and guys, I beat two Grand Masters and then moved on to the next round in uh, in a Grand Prix. I like took a screenshot of it. I have to I'll find it on my phone because I wanted to show you guys. I'm doing it. I gotta let me find it.
See if you could see it. Did you see that there? Will it focus? I won four out of five games in a Grand Prix. And I was like, holy crap, am I a real Shadowverse player now? Am I a real Shadowverse player? And uh, it was fun. The, the Grand, I, I really enjoyed it. Holy crap, I have so many card packs. And I remember like, so it's really intimidating because when you face someone who's achieved the Grandmaster rank, right? Which is the highest rank in Shadowverse. Um, their cards glow, like the backs of their cards glow. Like these little red orbs, right? If that was like their card pack, they'd be doing that in the game. And so like, I saw this person and I was like, oh man. And then I beat two of them. It's crazy. Oh, another Zeus. I use Zeus. We'll do 10 here. Anything interesting? Another Cursed Fuhrer. No legendaries. A Boom Devil. Nothing that I'm really super interested in here. What's this? I don't know what the difference between these two are. A ship's bane, ship's bane plesiosaurus. This is part of a cool deck trick that I've seen. I think it works in rotation right now. Um, you build a discard deck. Pretty much any time you discard a card, you deal one damage to the uh, enemy leader. So there are people that build uh, a deck around this in that like, they'll put a bunch of cards that discard cards in their deck. And then just whittle the enemy down. Vice Death Grip. Okay. Elf Queen. Another cur Cursed Fuhrer. I want to play the game. I'll open these later. So let's see what's going on in Storyland. Did we... We... We, we beat this, right? No, we didn't. Oh, there's this isn't even I'm not even gonna get to play. It was so pretty here, and now it's all burned to the ground. Her power was only one small part of nervous of that keepers. But this world's still falling apart. Once the keepers had me spellbound too. Maisha and I were a hair's breadth apart. That's why this disaster. It's not your fault, Ewan. I really... I, there had to be more I could have done. Regret won't fix anything, though. Osaria still... I'm sad, and it hurts so much. But I'm not going to lose. Yeah, Arisa. As long as you're determined to get Losaria back. Stay determined. I'm sure that you'll succeed. The music doesn't really like. I want to meet your princess too. Fit this this I'm mood sure here. A really charming person. We'll resist the keeper's idea of fate. The strength of our wills. It'll restore peace someday. Thanks, Evie. I cannot grow accustomed to this emptiness. No matter how many times I experience it, this feeling is all that's left once the heat of war dies. Yeah, war sucks. This world was more entertaining than the previous one. Let us prepare for the next act. Oh, mister, it's you! Who are you? Huh? Is it over? Is the scary stuff all over? Yes, it, it seems to be. Aw, Uriah is just talking to a little kid. It's slums, adorable. But they burned. And now they're like this. Well enough. I am no fancier of flowers. Oh, hey! Hey, hold your horses. You promised me you'd stop running around. Wow. I tell you, I don't know what I'd do if you ran off on me. Okay, sorry. Bye, mister. Sorry I couldn't thank you more. Oh. Battle is a painful 
beautiful thing indeed. Hmm. Is it? It is painful, Elias. But we will recover nonetheless. As long as there are people still alive, things will turn out okay. Yes. Unless it's the last person who's alive. In which case, it's not going to go well. Hey, you look like you're going to cry. Aren't you coming with me, old man? Mm, I don't know. He's probably left behind a lot of unfinished business. You said we were friends. We'll still be friends. We'll write tomorrow. each other. That I'll give change. you my AIM screen you name so you can world talk world to me over the internet. Sky. Make sure you get enough to eat. Don't cry too much. I worry about you. Okay. Don't die then, old man. No matter what, don't die. Okay, guys. I'd like that to be our official, uh, our official, um, sign off when we see each other and when we leave, when we part. We'll just say, hey, don't die then. No matter what, don't die. Like, that's how we can say goodbye from now on to each other. Gotcha. Take care, Luna. Bye, Luna. Oh. <clears throat> How very Isabel-esque of you. You were concerned for me, weren't you? How is it that you were able to understand me, and yet still let your imagination run wild? You are certainly skilled in a way all your own. <sighs> How many times must I tell you, I am the cosmic flower. She's the cosmic flower. flower. And you need not worry for me. I bloom for myself alone. You should do the same. Thanks, Birtia. Welcome to three months of subscription to the Schmoes. A lot of people like getting down on their knees in this, this scene. This is embarrassing, but I've never had a real She's friend. not your friend, Isabel. She's your you surrogate child. First. We need to take you to therapy so that you can understand this. Ugh, I can't stand this. I'm relying on you too much again. Huh. I get worried about you. You're a good person and you're all alone. I really... Idiot. Eleanor? You idiot! What you say is a complete given. Why, outside this world, there could be people able to revive the dead. And how could you miss me? Ooh, revive the dead. The like Kyle? Stand between like Kyle? No issue for me. This is a self-evident axiom. How Eleanor ask of you? I am always myself, even if you've changed me, and even if I do now feel an inarticulable pain. There's no problem, however. This is all a part of friendship. Go, Isabel, along your own. All right, I'm going to go then. Let's see each other again someday. Yes, let's meet again, my one and only friend. Don't limit yourself, Eleanor. You could go make other friends. We couldn't track down the keepers. But we got a glimpse of them. I love listening to Keith Silverstein. Now we understand that it's not easy to track them down. But it's fine. I'll be fine. Because I'm not alone. You're right. We're not alone. We have partners. Hmm. Nexus. Nerva. Our search for them has only begun. Yes. I expect a battle to make my heart pulse. Does your heart beat? No I thought that was kind of like a thing that you gave up when you became a vampire. Power of the I'm going to protect my partners and return home to my family. I'll fight to see it through. And also be a dragon sometimes. Now, and you're all with me. I'm kind of lonely, but I'm not really lonely. The best way to compliment all the friends that have fought with you is to tell them that you're lonely when you're with them. For myself. I'm going on to the next world. Let's go, Ewan. I know we'll be fine. Let's leap to the next. Whoop! Who are Wait. you? You. You're really hurt. There is no time. Please, please, save our world. Isunia's savior. Oh, okay. That's a little badge I got for completing this chapter. All right, let's go save the world. Uh, we completed this. No, wait, that's- we skipped one. No, go back! Six doesn't come after four, or five does! I can't even play as Rowan in this chapter?! 
No! Let's play as uh, Portal Craft. Because I don't know how to play Portal. What is this? I am Tetra, and my world is in danger of total annihilation. A fearsome tyrant named Belfamet threatens us with the unthinkable. Did you come from a different world? Yes, I possess dimension. How'd you figure that one out, Ewan? At least for now. What clued you in that she might have come from another world? Was it when she said, my world is under attack? Please, before it is destroyed, will you accompany me to my home world of Iolon? Of course we'll go. Jumping the gun, Arisa? We can't just leave her. I mean, we all know what it's like suffering at the hands of the Keepers. <sighs> Fine. Let's do this. You won't regret it, you and Don't expect I will. Just for a minute there. When Tetra first appeared in the situation with this Belfamet character reaps of keeping. The Belfamet card is a pain in the reminds me a little too much of Do the I need to bleep ass? I don't think Dissumia. I do. It's a pain in the ass. Sounds like all the more reason to go with Tetra. If keepers are involved, then there's no choice but to face them. Hmm. Oh, right, because this is where it splits. It's, it's like Rowan and two other people go... Oh, wait. I think I was about to spoil everything. <laughs> Tracking worthy adversaries across yet another dimension? It is too tempting to... I bear responsibility for the salvation of all worlds. Allow me to accompany you as well. Looks like we're all in agreement. All right, everybody said something, and now all you have to do to go to a next dimension is close your eyes. Here we go. Are we there? Cleared that. Ooh, I need to... All-seeing tyrant. Let's do... Sure. I don't know what this deck is, so... Hey, Tiplet! Welcome to the Shmo Land. We're playing Shadowverse. So this No mistaking this feeling. Oh, suddenly There's we're we're inside Dishonored. Here. But it's too faint to be Nerva herself. Well, this sector has been placed under curfew. Authorization is required to leave. You want my authorization? This sector has been placed under You curfew. want my Authorization is required to leave residence. <laughs> Shut up. <sighs> Was that alive? I've never seen a life form quite like it. Your deck is full of them. Oh, sounds like the damned resistance is at it again. Scary, aren't they? Oh, I hope the enforcers catch them soon. Wow, we're like way into cyberpunk now. Ah. I guess those people are residents of this world. I am Tetra. Yeah, we just learned you that. could have okay. given me a few more details, at least. Steam, more steampunk than cyberpunk, yeah. Containment breach has been detected in Sector B. Violators are currently attempting escape. Huh? An evacuation announcement? Th this is serious! We've got to get out of here! That sounds like Brad Venable. You don't have... <laughs> Warning, I am permitted to use disciplinary measures in the apprehension of residential law violators. Please present your identification. Just a moment, I've got it right here. Scanning identification. Error. Oh, but that can't be. Possession of forged documentation uh -oh. is subject to disciplinary measures. Now en enough. Enough. <laughs> Where did you come from? Get out of here while you still can. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Warning. The obstruction of peacekeeping activity. Oh, I can't wait to kill this robot. I'd rather have kept a low profile coming to a new world and all, but hey. Here. Of course we'll go. We can't We just okay, I don't need the flashback from half a second ago. Here we go. Made me soft. Let's fight this guy. Now I have no idea how to I don't even know what's in this deck that I made. <clears throat> Okay. Guess that girl's made me soft. You just said that. Disciplinary measures. 
I can't stand this card. So, um... Alright. Acceleration. Actually, uh, maybe I'll keep... I don't know. Basically, this makes it like... You, if you play artifacts, you can just play over and over and over and over and over again. Um, you can clear the field every single time with this card. If, especially if you have another card combined with it. Oh, great. This is totally worthless. Are you serious? Sure. Violators will be punished. Okay. Really? I can't believe I'm not going to be able to play anything for... This is ridiculous. Alright. Not not so good. This is not so good here. Great, I have my first card that I can play on turn 5. Deal 2 damage. Alright, whatever. She's not even... Our, our, okay, I can't do anything. I'll put this down again, I guess. This is amazing. Like, these draws are awful. So awful. What is this? Okay, resonance is active, so I'm gonna clear that. And then I guess I'll play this card again. What are you? Radiant artifact and a prime artifact. Random artifact card in deck in your hand. All right, let's, okay, let's do that. I have no artifact cards from my deck in my Hang on! Hang on. I have three of these cards in this deck. When allied artifact follower comes into play, give it rush. This was supposed to pull an artifact card from my deck and put it into my hand. Which means I have no artifact cards in my deck. Why was this deck built this way? I don't understand. Like the artifact artifact cards don't originate in the deck. You have to put them into your deck. I don't know how to play Portal Craft, guys. Nothing separates me from my blade. Still, Neither human nor beast. Don't interfere. I guess. Coming at you. I don't know. True to myself. Don't I guess interfere. I'll deal face damage. This this game is over. I'm not even. I don't even think I'm gonna try here. I'm gonna quit and start again. <clears throat> this is really, 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 really bad. <clears throat> I didn't- I had one card in that whole pull that could have put an artifact card in my deck. Let's take a look here. So this is not an artifact deck. We'll- we'll play without an artifact deck. That was a terrible game, and I'm sorry you guys all had to see that. I'm sorry you had to experience that. This is a puppet deck, Guess which I'm a little more familiar with. But again, as a Dragoncraft main, I really don't know what I'm doing. Deal damage, puppets. <clears throat> Got it. Dawn Splendor is a great card to have in your deck if you're playing against Dragoncraft, which tends to employ a lot of Storm, as does uh, some Bloodcraft and Swordcraft decks. <clears throat> Unfortunately, you almost never know who you're playing against, so it's just kind of insurance. Oh, that was fun. All right, uh, Automaton Knight. Put a puppet. Alright. 
select a follower in your hand that costs three plus points. Of Bringing in the puppet. Yeah. Shutting down. Um, put two puppets in your hand. Deal one damage to all enemy followers. I mean, I guess I could clear the field, right? Because puppets cost zero. So far, so bad here. We're not not really doing great. I don't know how to build build up this deck to strike. I guess we're gonna do the exact same thing again. Shutting down. My hands are tied. What else do we have in our hand here? There's really like nothing going on here, huh? We'll throw him up there. We'll play that, I guess. And then this. And what is this? Give minus two, minus zero to an enemy follower. Or let's see. Sure, we'll evolve you, and then we'll. Um, you're Bane anyway, so you're gonna kill whatever. Coming at you. Watch over you. My sure. Alright, so now maybe we'll have some damage on the board, but no, it's gonna evolve and clear. I don't know how to build. Um... Alright, I can heal a little bit. Well, that was kind of fun, I guess. All right. And that's going to clear the field, I think. Is it? Yep. Oh, wow. Great. Um, we've got this. Storm. We can make it a 10-10. That'll be fun. We'll put this in here and this in here. I could never set foot in the sun. And then this will be You're fun. Through. All right. Okay. Great. We won. Almost. Put a puppet. Whenever a puppet comes into your hand, restore one defense. Sure. Just follow my two, and away we go. All creations undermine God. Well, I think we did it this time, guys. Well, that was silly. Here, you do it. Rotate, I feel like I stumbled my way through that match. I miss Dragoncraft. Exactly the most welcoming world, is it? What's up, Agrimar? Enforcer units were programmed by Lord Balfamet. Any interference with their program will be subject to immediate... <laughs> immediate destruction. Balfamet, was it? That's the one Tetra warned us about. You just destroyed an enforcer. Do you know what you've done? Why didn't you run away? Why were you standing there? He's not even in uniform. 
The laws of this world are complex, serving only to torture those they're meant to protect. What's up, Alex? There's nothing complex about our laws. They simply serve their function. And who are you supposed oh, to? Oh no, it's Mono. No, no, no. Don't worry. I shan't give you over to the foul forces of the law. Nope. I'm actually Tetra's sister. She's the one who brought you to this world. Hmm. Whoa, where is this mistrust coming from? I can tell you're suspicious of me without even scanning your heart rate. Ah, perhaps it's the way I talk? Well, I don't speak like this because I want to. Some of my speech patterns are chosen based on a poetic algorithm. You know what? Never mind. I had a feeling you wouldn't trust me. So let's fight. Ignore my sister. She is quite talkative, but she is an ally all the same. So I decided to record an explanation from Tetra. If that's not enough to convince you of my intentions, I could share more information. I'm Ewan. I've come to this world because I felt the presence of a keeper. Brought others with me too. Yes, I'm aware. That is Yeah, Urias and Mono are both bloodcraft. I'd be interested to see how they uh, how they interact. However, I do know a suitable place where you can all reconvene. Care to take me there? That's the plan. It would be rude not to properly guide our guest. Well, please don't get started. I'm not one for flattery. Fine, fine. Let's get moving. We're headed to the underbelly of Ayalon, but it's basically a junkyard. Yay, junkyards! No. Um, let's see. This is a very peculiar chapter. Earlier. You're a brave one, aren't you? Well, Braven, don't take this the wrong way. Completely reckless. You didn't know that man at all. So why risk your neck for Uh, him? there was a woman there too, Mono. Watching me, were you? Not you specifically. You didn't think I was going to sit back and watch that enforcer attack those humans, did you? I was waiting for the right opportunity to hack into it. I know what you're thinking. If you've got that kind of ability, why hesitate? Well, sudden movement catches the attention of the enforcers. Not to mention this unexpected stimulus causes them to act hysterically. Stir them up and they'll attack anything that comes into view of their sensors. Even mundane things like searchlights. Yeah, f those searchlights. Really masterful creation. Sorry. Perhaps I acted without caution back there. Haha. <laughs> Whoops. I swear this verbalization system hinders more than it helps. Let me restate myself. This time with less nuance. I'm deeply impressed with you. Wow. Care to elaborate? Sure. I sense that you have a deep moral code, one that bows more to justice than logic. That's a beautiful quality. I bet that's why my sister wrecked. Can I ask you something? Anything. I'm an open database, ready to answer. Hey, baby, I'm an open database. Have. Tetris said she made Oops. it sound like this place was already in ruins, but I see systematic order. What did she mean? Ewan, destruction is what happens when a tangible form is forcibly reduced to nothing. But what imperils Ayalon isn't something that can be touched. So, you fear the destruction of an ideal? How to explain? <clears throat> Everything in this world is controlled by a single man, <clears throat> Belfamet. Actually, control might not be the most accurate word. What he does is more... He decides when the people wake, when they sleep, what they do and how they do it, what they see, say and hear. He is the sole decision maker. The Scarecrow, yeah, this is a very uh, Deet kind of... Mono and Deet would get along, or they Everyone would hate each other. wears the same clothes and walks at the same pace, and no one would stand up for a friend. No, the physical structures of this world are quite safe. It's psychological annihilation that looms over our heads. Hearts, emotions, what makes people... Welcome, Shohar. People? I see. I've been to several worlds, but this... This is the first time I've encountered these kinds of conditions. Unfortunate <clears throat> that we won't be able to rely on your experience, but I'm glad all the same. Welcome to the heap of scrap we use as the home base of the Resistance. It's so beautiful. Hmm. Lady Mono, we're glad to see you've returned safely, but who's that beside you? Not a very warm welcome. 
Is it so strange for robots to feel guarded around outsiders? It may seem bizarre to you, but in truth, we can think for ourselves. Did you say robots? I'm not familiar with the term. You use them in your decks, Ewan? Oh, well, that's unexpected. After having analyzed my installed logs of dead languages, and confirming the perfect idiomatic expressions for regular communication, it seems I still missed something. Frustrating. Mono, I need to ask you something. That thing I fought before, is it the same as you and the others here? The answer is neither affirmative nor negative. We certainly both fit under the classification of robot, having been made by humans, but one thing separates us almost completely. Just as I said before, the fact that we awakened can think for ourselves. In that sense, we truthfully are closer to our makers. Um, excuse me, sir. Are you Oh, that's some serious that Erica Harlocker Harlocker stuff going on right there. The men and women here don't possess as much functionality as my sisters and I, but they're more complex than the robots who only speak in recordings. I see what you mean. My name is Ewan. And yes. Hi, I'm J3. This is Sun, but a unit from the same series as me, male type J2P04, has a series refers to a group of robots made during the same production run. Thanks, Mono. So in other words, you want me to find your brother? I do. I don't think he could have gone far by now. Allow me to expound a bit. Unit J2P04, or J2 as we call him, is a bit of a rebel among the members of the resistance and all of course the difference in our power and Belfamitz is clear it's a suicide mission j2's after but i suppose idealists never really understand the true consequences of defeat do they if no goes through with it at best they'll power there's a down. lot of talking in this chapter truly mono if we stumble upon any of my companions then i'll lead them i would like to fight i would like to i would like to play the game guys i would like to actually come on if i don't pick a deck okay we'll do all seeing tyrant again i got impatient i'm sorry we're going to go find this person's brother and we're going to fight use cards to fight them this place should be a bustling city, considering the location. <clears throat> and yet, no one's here but these machines. Where have all the people gone? The path was straightforward, so I don't think I'm off track. Ah, uh, sorry. Initiating deep circuit scan. A critical error was found in thought processing systems. Oh, so these robots emotion kill emotion. You're not allowed no. to have emotion in this city. You with the resistance? Huh? Yeah. Uh, you too? Emotional capacity confirmed. Yep, you can't have emotions. Confirmed. We'll do introductions later. Get behind me for now. It's time to say that let well let's let people feel. You let people feel. You turd burglars. I'll handle this. Initiating emergency termination. All right. Good, 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 good. All right. We'll keep this. There seems to be a couple of like kill cards in here that just require having a, a tree in your hand. Violators will be punished. All right, we've got some some resonance dealing damage. This card can be very annoying to play against it, but it only deals one damage at a time. So let's let's do this. Good there. Oh, I had rush. I shouldn't have done that. I gotta be patient. Playtime is over. I came to slay. Oh no. Oh. Okay, let's save. I don't need the tree quite yet, so let's let's start dealing some some damage. You can die, My and um, we'll save that. Puppets, I guess they die. I'll dive into the sea and find our so far, not doing awesome. Okay, um, 
Munger, Munger. Room off has no other attack and defense. Oh, I could put two of these out there and start dealing damage to... That might be fun. Let's try that. Let's try that. That'll be interesting next turn. Uh, and I'll throw the puppet out there to make it hurt a little bit. Um, you go here and then... Ooh, we'll do it again. This will be interesting. Okay. Coming at you. <laughs> I don't I don't know if this is gonna work out. So my idea here is I'm gonna drop these three cards, right? Anytime resonance becomes active, which happens once every other turn or whenever I um whenever I draw a card, like whenever my deck has a certain amount. Why are you playing Dragoncraft cards? Um Are you are you playing a Dragoncraft deck? Uh, let's do this. All creation is and I want some I want some life back, so I'm gonna pop that puppet in there. The cogs have turned. The cogs have turned. Yes. Down. Everything is good. Um and we'll evolve him. Now the fight begins. Let Caesar's things dance. The cogs have turned. Rotate, Sandra! Um, all right. Destroy a random enemy follower. Last words, okay. Interesting. Lop. That's what I'm looking for. Cannon Hermit Crab. Okay, uh, I need to make the, sure the tree gets in there. And then we'll drop another one of these and another one of these. Oh no, I screwed it up! All other followers, not enemy followers. Oh man, I, I really messed that up, huh? That was really super dumb. All right. That was awful. Now everybody's dead. Man, I don't know what to do about this. All right, we'll, uh... That's good. It's good, it's fine. Uh, at the end of your turn of resonance... All right, we're gonna evolve. You're through. Resonance isn't active. So this sucks. Everything sucks. Ouch! Oh, that sucks. All right. Okay. Deal four damage to enemy follower. Put a puppet in your hand. That was fine. Okay. Uh, and then, um, let's see. Let's see. You can go in there, sure. Come on. Last words is put a puppet, puppeteer strings. Sure. We'll, we'll wait. These claws and fangs are a way of life. You can indeed, Agrimar, make your enemy run out of cards. When that happens, they lose the game. I had this most amazing experience where someone, me and someone were going back and forth forever. It was a huge, long game. And then they got super, super cocky at the end of the game, right? They knew they won. They they had lethal on the board. But instead of uh, just killing me, they were like, look how many cards I could... Be oh no, my deck is out! And they lost. And it was like one of the most satisfying Shadowverse experiences I think I've ever had. Never set foot in the sun. 
Um, well, I guess we'll just wait here. I don't see a real purpose in using these puppets yet. It was so amazing. It was like, you could tell, they are just like, look at my overkill. Oh no! It was very, very satisfying. Alright, let's see. Alright, we'll get some health back. This is deal one damage to all followers. Uh, that's kind of, that's kind of annoying. I could never set foot in the sun. And um, yeah, let's let's do it. I knew it. <laughs> all right, I feel like we have this game firmly in hand. Um, all right, let's see. Enhanced Tiger. Rush, Strike, Automaton King. I don't really know what to do here. Oh, I have lethal, why am I bothering with this? <laughs> math, guys. I need that math, I need that sweet, sweet math action. Are you J2? That's what my friends call me. And you are? My name's Ewan. I'm an ally of the Resistance. I heard about Lady Tetra bringing a hero from another world. How? Is that you? That's she me. died! Then, please, you have to help me. Belfamet must be defeated as soon as possible. Why? From what I can tell, this world isn't in any grave danger. Someone very special to me. An older model robot with serial number IO342. IO was taken by Belfamet. If I don't bring her home soon. Is she your sister? No, she's closer to what you humans think of as a mother. Please, I have to save IO. Is IO Windows XP? Then I'll help you. Really? Thank you, sir. Please calm down, Jim. Oh, I thought you were dead. Oh, uh, Lady Tetra. You're back. I am glad to see you unharmed. Now, J2, please return to the hideout. I have told you many times that leaving is forbidden. But Lady Tetra, what will become so, of Io? So, just, just to, like, get the record straight here. You've got a tyrannical race of automatons uh, that are basically saying, like, you can't do anything you can't feel. So your first reaction when you come in and have a resistance is be like, I told you leaving the resistance space was forbidden. You cannot have free will in our free will resistance. Do not worry about Io. We can copy her backup data into a new frame to restore her. But how long will that take? Just go back, J2. But... J2P04. Oh, she used first, middle, and last name. You're in trouble. I apologize for the inconvenience. Thank you for watching over J2. No problem. How's your injury? Looks like you're recovering well. Affirmative. Thanks to Isabel, my malfunctioning systems have been repaired. You met with Isabel? Is she safe? Yes, she is fine. I led her to one of our hideouts. I see. Then that leaves six others to track down. Negative. There were only two others. When I transported your group to this world, I sensed that only four of you had arrived. <laughs> oh no! Sorry. Half I the group is in a different world! By an outside force. It really didn't work out! Don't be. We followed Nerva's presence, so this kind of thing was inevitable. I will return to Isabel now. Will you go with me? Or will you try to find another of your allies? I was asked a favor. 
though I'll finish that before I make another move. Mono has already informed me that you were asked to find J2. Have you not already completed this request? I have. But he's looking for his mother, and I intend to help him. Is this a matter that takes precedent over reuniting yourself with allies? Mono will take care of them. Besides, they can handle themselves just fine without my help. We'll meet up when we meet up. Central Tower is dangerous. Seems like you're intent on stopping me from heading there. Why? Belfomet is extremely formidable. But he needs to be brought down. Is that not what your people want? It is, however... Imagine coming to a country and 10 minutes later deciding that you have to depose That's its wrong. leader. What are you, America? Mono has been forced to enter Alpha Drive mode. I must retrieve her. Farewell for now. Please be careful. Strange. Why would she keep anything? I'll let it go for now. Better move on to Central Tower for the time being. Central Tower needs some freedom. We're gonna give Central Tower some freedom. And that means it's time for halftime. Okay, guys, if you're not familiar with my halftime, who here, this is their first, uh, great poop pump. Who, uh, who here is, this is the first, uh, halftime you've been to? What we're doing, what we're doing. I'm gonna drink some transparent water. Nice. Okay, so we have different halftime shows that are based on, uh, the game that we're in, sort of. But, uh, in this case, um, they're always like an improv game where you guys get to participate. You guys get to give me prompts and I have to come up with stuff on the fly. Uh, in this Shadowverse game, which is a card game, uh, you guys give me names of fake cards and I get to describe them to you uh, like this. Begin by activating my pot of green. This lets me draw two more cards. Second, I activate pot of green, which lets me draw two more cards from my deck. Then I'll activate my pot of green! This lets me draw two cards! But I'm not done yet! Next I play pot of green! This allows me to take two cards from my deck and add them to my hand! I play pot of green! You know what that means, don't you? Tell me! Oh, you'll find out! What does pot of green do? So at some point we're gonna figure out what pot of green does. My favorite part about Yu-Gi-Oh! is that you took what appears to be a 14-year-old kid and gave him... Whose voice is that? Is that, um... That's not Epcar, right? That's, uh, uh, uh... There's three voices I always get mixed up when I hear them. I get... I get... Kyle Hebert. I get, uh... It's... Dan Green? See, I don't know that voice. I don't know that voice at all. But, like, it's basically you took, took someone that should be playing, like, a 900-pound... He, I don't know if he's 14. He looks like a little kid. But it's just like, hello! Welcome to you. Like, it's just... It's like putting, like, Patrick Seitz in a five-year-old. Um, He's supposed to be 40? Yugi's only... Yugi's 16. Okay. If I sounded that way when I was 16... Anyway, this is not a commentary on voice casting in the 1990s. Yeah, because anime. Right? I was at a, uh, um, a panel um, for Trails of Cold Steel 3 at Anime Expo last year, and I was sitting next to um, Val Aram, who is the director and owner of PCB Studios and one of my favorite people in Los Angeles. And uh, she um, she's in, I don't know, probably her, her late 40s, I guess. Uh, and she was like, me? I'm dead in anime years. Right? Like, there's nobody in their, in their 40s in anime. And everyone's either like a 22-year-old who is the successful, successful owner of a, uh, um, of like a multinational corporation at 18, or like the world's top lawyer as a 16-year-old, right? Uh, Akechi from P5 or something like that. 
So she was like, I'm dead in anime years. But anyway. Love you, Val. Um, so, we've got some cards to go through. Yeah, 28 year olds. Well, 28 year old CEO. 28 is okay. I think like 22, it's pretty, pretty young. Um, give me a number between one and uh, 16. 18, one, and eight, one through 18. Four. Timbe Trays. Timbe Trays submits a card. Called These Are the Jokes, people. Okay. Let's think about this for a second. For a second. For a second. These are the jokes, people, is the card. Oh, I gotta change my effects here. And I have to remember what button does what. Because I haven't played this game in two weeks. Let's see. I deploy the card. These are the jokes, people. Your opponent says something that they think is funny. But nobody laughs. The room gets very quiet. And 10 seconds, too late, he looks at everybody in the room and says, These are the jokes, people. And people like him less. All right. What's next? down here so I can see it. Number 10 from Bobatori. Is the hidden provisional donut. The HPD. Hmm. Hmm. I deploy the card, Hidden Provisional Donut. When your health drops to zero, your opponent thinks you're done. But no, you're not done. You have a Hidden Provisional Donut. Your health is immediately restored to 20, and you win the game. Because donuts are victory. Donuts are victory. Amy Lee asks for number eight, which comes from Conquiel. Who wants me to describe the card sandwiches? Hmm. I deploy the card sandwiches. You get to take all of your cards and put them together into one super card because sandwiches are the perfect food. Your cards now cover all food groups. They are tremendously satisfying and they can be prepared in less than five minutes. You win the game. Next card comes, number uh, 15, is what I saw. Comes from Wombo Combo. And it's Pog. I deploy the card, Pog. The game is going poorly. 
very poorly. Things seem to be dire. But out of nowhere, you pull out an ace in your sleeve to win the game. And everybody around you cheers. Because you are a small cardboard disc from the 90s. And you cannot be stopped. You guys didn't think it was going to make that turn, did you? Did you? You didn't think it was going there! I tricked you! Ha ha ha! Luna Eclipse 547 submits number three, which is Magical... Oops, I'm moving my frame. I don't want that. Uh, which is Magical Girl... Edelgard. I have to move this. Oh, there's a TM symbol, but it's not showing. It's in Schmo font. This is in Schmo font. All right, so what would Magical Girl Edelgard... How do I do this without spoiling Crimson Flower? Hmm. 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 I deploy the card Magical Girl Edelgard. The frame isn't perfectly aligned at all. And this is probably Edelgard's fault. What happened? Oh no, I have to fix it. Okay, we're good. Deploying the card, Magical Girl, Edelgar. Duh. Edelcard. Magical Girl, Edelcard comes onto the field. You have a team of faculty that runs your organization. And all of a sudden, one of them, who's probably best known for making and or eating pizza, betrays you and goes to the other side. Leaving you with one less faculty, and a lot less pizza. I wasn't really sure where to go with that one. Thanks to the host, Brayden. Number five comes from comes from all right I this is hard okay comes from uh Zephran Zephrania damn this frame damn this Zephramia this looks like a haiku now the way it's lined up this <laughs> complainers who refuse to do anything about your, their problems I deploy the card. Complainers who refuse to do anything about their problems. It's three o'clock in the morning, and you get a phone call. On the other end of that phone, you hear a nasally voice. That voice says, I don't know what to do about my mom. And you know what's coming. It's like she doesn't understand boundaries, and I really need boundaries, and I can't just talk to her because, I don't know, that would make sense. So, I just want to talk to you about the boundaries that my mom doesn't respect. And I think, I thank you so much for listening. Um, also, my boyfriend is a piece of sh and, uh, 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 I'm not talking in that voice more often. Ever. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. One more. No, number six comes from YouTube videos who... <laughs> decades overdue library book. I deploy the card. Decades overdue library book. 
the mail is piling up. Stacks of envelopes are on your desk. All of them from the Quensington Public Library. Each of them with a 35 cent overdue fee. But you haven't returned that library book for 10 years. You have a choice. You may play this card and either A, lose all of your money and be a pauper for the rest of your days in debt to the merciless institution that is libraries. Or B, be hunted by librarians for the rest of your life. Not just librarians. Librarian assassin. Librarian assassins, you guys. Let's give away a print, you guys. I should have uh, Rowan prints coming back in stock in the next week. I did run out. Sorry. Uh... All right, mods, let's close it up. The Weezroll97, congratulations. You're the winner of a signed print. Get in touch with the mod and tell them who you are and where you are and what you want me to write on it and I'll send it to you. And then you'll get it and you'll open it and you'll be like, hey, I've got this signed print. And hopefully you'll be happier than before when you got the signed print. Congratulations. You roll one a print. I'm really jonesing for some, we got about 10 minutes until I want to start schmo battles. So let's show you what competition looks like at the A0 level. Maybe I'd play Pokemon Snap on stream. I don't know. Usually what happens at this level, from what I see, right, is that you know immediately what deck the other person is going to play because they have 
Um. This curse is my strength. Oh, look at Rowan. He's adorable. I can still fight. Uh. And this deck I'm using. This deck I'm using. Wow, guys. This deck I'm using. That was the Freudian slip of the century. Um. Uh, this deck I'm using uh, is uh, b based on. Uh, I can't. I can't even. I, I look. This deck is about coming quickly onto the field. This deck is about just being hard and fast, and really just penetrating the enemy defenses. What are you guys laughing at? Oh, man. Anyway. <clears throat> let's see. How do I want to deal with this? Yeah, let's do it this way. No, 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 not yet. Do this first, and then this, and then this, and then this. This is all weird, but I'm doing it. <laughs> hey, if you're at work watching this stream and you're laughing, you be watching. I'm not want to get you fired. Oof, that's a rough one. That's that's a rough. That's that's tough. Okay. Um, but I'll pull a card from it, I guess. This is based on being uh, quick and drawing cards quickly, you're doing things like what I'm saying now, like you're injuring your own characters to draw more cards. Um, This is unlimited, and usually what happens is I can immediately understand what the other person is doing because since you can use any card, they be, kind of become like gimmicky. This person playing Shadowcraft is already playing some cards I'm not super familiar with, but mostly what I see in Shadowcraft is that um, they want to get as many shadows as they can, and then they deploy um, some amulet that makes it uh, impossible to win, which is super annoying. Oh yeah, I can ramp a little bit. That's nice. So what this person is doing yet, I don't know. They'll they'll either usually play that amulet or they'll build up they'll build up shadows and play copies of this thing that basically adds plus ten to a character. This is very annoying. The ward characters are very annoying. Alright, we'll howl. We're gonna howl. Bye, everybody. That's very annoying. Flash if the enemy follow has storm or rush. Oops. No problem. We'll clean it up next time. I may have to howl again, which is very annoying. Oh, did the did the emotes change? They did. With the face set, they changed. That's cool. Um, all right, how do I get out of this? I think, unfortunately, I gotta I gotta blow this other howl, and then evolve. In order to clear the field. That's cool. I like the new animations. So wow, a whole lot of like back and forth here on the field. We're at turn seven, and we're both still close to uh, twenty here. I don't really see much uh, opportunity for stuff going on here. Okay, that's not so bad. I want to start dealing damage. This is like super annoying. All right, so this person putting out cards on the field is pretty good for me because I can use Phoenix Rider. And I can deal some heavy damage here in just a second, which I am going to absolutely do. And I'll blow the turn on this. I'm not feeling good about this game in general. Yeah!
So I just couldn't pass up that opportunity to do a bunch of damage. And they have a bunch of weenies on the board, so I don't have so much um, that I'm worried about. I knew the Bane was going to get that character, so we'll see what else we've got. Leader can't take more than five damage at a time isn't going to matter because I don't have really anything in store. That's what I would have done, so... Oh, God. This is a weird deck. This is one that I haven't really seen before. It seems to be bent on, like, multiplying this annoying card. Boy, I wish I had another Howl right now. Let's see. Who do I want to kill? I guess you. Um. And then you to keep the damage down? I don't even know. I don't think I. Th there's no way I'm winning this one. Mods, let's get a Shmo uh, lined up for a battle. We'll start Shmo battles. Yeah, look at this. This is like, uh, this is awful. This is an interesting deck style that I haven't seen before about summoning, like, duplicating characters. Um, I'm not even gonna worry about it here. We're done. You've bested me. Da -na -na. I'm almost at that A1, but not quite. It takes a long time to get to the steak sauce. Get it? A1. Steak sauce? No? Alright, whatever. Go ahead and jump in there. Let's do this. Looks like I'll be playing Robin. Welcome, Robin. Oh, you're muted at the at the moment. I gotta make sure that people are gonna be able to hear you. Where's my mixer? There we go. Do 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 do. Currently playing Robin. Whoop. All right, Robin, I can't hear you. And I don't see you in the game. Uh, I just had a little bit of a brownout. And you guys, you guys are good. Okay, all the lights in my studio just flickered for some reason. But there's a chance that all the internet may just die in the next 10 seconds. So, sorry. All right. I'm assuming that Robin doesn't want to talk, which is totally cool. I will talk at you. If not, you can just unmute yourself and talk to me anytime. Your mic is currently being weird.
No, it's not considered a win if they can't get their mic working out. Aki always wants to beat someone up. Aki's very violent. Yeah, let's uh, let's bring. Oh no, wait, Robin is back. Let's see. Let's see. We can always bring someone else in while Robin is troubleshooting. That's no problem at all. Hey! Hi. How's it going? I'm good. Oh, I routed you through the wrong thing. Nobody can hear you. Hang on. This is my fault. Up and right there. Now everyone can hear you. Cool. Rock and roll. <laughs> I don't know what was going on with my mic. It seemed like I was permanently muted. No problem. We got it fixed now. Yeah. All right. Just like my deck, apparently. There we go. So what are we playing here? What do we what do we plan? Is this Dragoncraft on Dragoncraft or we got something else? No, I think it's Runecraft. Yeah. Alright. Spell slinging. Let's get some spell slinging going on. I guess you're looking for a fight. I'm really bad at this game, so. It's okay. At one point I was horrific at this game. You're a strong one. Interesting. All right. Dragons are coming in. I hardly ever see Runecraft playing anything on turn one. Maybe like a, a altered, not an altered fate insight, like the card drawing one. Yeah, I only got like twos and up more. Like I switched out a six for a six, apparently. Yeah, that happens to me all the time. I, I can't tell how many times like I will switch out a card for the exact same card. Let's bring in. Let's do it this way. Let's do it. You have power. No. Oh, great. Okay. Ow. Never seen a reaction like that. I love that intro line. I don't know why I like it so much, but I do. Let's see. Hmm. My heart is racing right I now. I should have said, it's okay, it's just a card game. Hey, I know, you're like the third oh, voice actor I've ever right. talked to. Who are the other two? Uh, Joe DiMaggio at Comic-Con, and then well, he's I he's way cooler than I am. Yeah, and then I talked to um, another voice actor who worked with Fire Emblem. She plays Nino in Heroes. Yeah. But I only messaged her on on Twitter, and she actually responded to me. Oh, cool. nice. Yeah. But yours technically my favorite. Ah, oh, thanks. Oh, I like the little the gentle mouse. That's the most adorable card I think I've ever seen. He's wearing a little tuxedo. I love it. All right. He's, I'm really drawing like poop here. All right. Um, now then I have a chance to win. We'll see. I've got nothing to fear. Rowan has nothing to fear. Let's do this. What's next? Tremble and die. I like. Give me that. I like. Give me that. Unbelievable. Let me share my wisdom. You're done for. So have you just been playing Shadowverse since uh, I started streaming it? Yeah. So I don't know what I'm doing half That's the okay. time. It took me a really long time, like comparatively, to feel comfortable oh. with the game. Yeah, the only other card game I played was... Um, uh, the one that's by Blizzard, I forgot the name. 
Tremble and cower. Uh, Hearthstone? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That one I barely played too. See, I would have definitely really... knocked out this, uh, the larger of the two serpents here with that big card. Even though you might have lost it, um, it's going to multiply again. So I'm about to have a tremendous amount of stuff on the board. Boy. That's rough. That's a rough. That's a rough setup. Those are big cards. It won't be long now. Yeah. But unfortunately, I don't think there's anything you can do here. Yeah. You won. No, you didn't. Never no, mind. So I thought I was like, "Holy crap! Is that a storm?" And then yeah, I yeah, then I saw the different color. For a second there, I was like, "You did not just win this game." I wish I did. That would have been funny. There we go. I lost. That was close, man. You were within yeah. one turn. If I was only able to deploy that one earlier. One turn earlier, you would have been okay. That would have been that would have been nice. This, the deck I'm using has absolutely no wards in it, so it's like once once you're in inside my defenses, I'm kind of done. Well, Robin, that was fun. Thanks for playing me. Yeah, thank you for having me. On. Of course. Sign up again, and bye. we'll have a rematch sometime. Yep. Bye. See ya. <clears throat> A raid from Pcats. Thanks for coming, Pcats. Pika. Hello. Mary. Hello. What's going on? I gotta change the thing so that people know. Well, there is a stream going on, and that's what's going on. You Let's know see. what I'm saying? I do. Mary Boo. Now people know that you're in there. Salty. I exist. You wow. exist. Congratulations. Didn't know that. Welcome, everybody who just raided and the new host. Wow, we got a lot of raids and hosts today, huh? It's early in the day. Do I have to introduce myself? That's like, I'm Joe Zija. I'm a voice actor in Los Angeles who sometimes streams. I play Rowan in this game. That's my voice, and we're playing Shadowverse. Welcome. And right now I'm fighting members of my audience. I don't know whether to do one or two. I'm gonna do two. Let, you, let your heart decide. I'm going to do better than I did last time. Well. That's for sure. Was it a brutal loss last time, or was it, like, real close? Uh, I actually got really close, despite the fact that this I had no idea what I was strength. doing. Well, now you clearly know what like, you're doing. You look like you've been playing some ranked matches. I played a little bit. I'm still horrible at the game, but I've got a decent deck now. Good. That I stole from someone else, but that's not That's really, really all we do. I, I'm honest, like, <clears throat> the deck that I'm playing is mostly stolen from another person and then i modified it like the idea came from someone else and then i modified it this one i think that i have a modified version of this deck but this one's the unmodified version mm -hmm. because i don't trust myself to modify this deck well, so far my polls are not fantastic so me neither oh wow i can't out twice there anything. I guess I might as well do this. I'm not even pulling any cards. Like I'm not using my, my draw cards. To be fair, you're probably gonna win, but my goal is to at least get you to half health once. Okay. So if you get that's to ten health goal. if you get to ten health, it's a win. Yep, that's a win for me. Awesome. That's that's the attitude I like. Nice. Ah, oh, you're not gonna evolve, okay? I would have considered doing that. Because this is about to get real bad, I think, real fast. I've got nothing to fear. And we'll do this. 
feeble. This is rough, Mary. Mary, this is rough. Those are about to both multiply. I, uh, yeah, cool. Nice, you took out my lethal. I'm, I'm still alive. You're still <laughs> That's alive. That's all I can say. I'm s <laughs> Um, unfortunately, I, have, I don't think- There was actually this one time earlier I was practicing and I got really lucky on this one turn. Every card in my hand other than two are storm cards right now. So unfortunately, that's not the way it's going to go. Ha! You challenge me. Ha! Ha! Easy picking. That was good. Yeah, that was a good play with the ghosts. Uh I think if you had used your uh, a couple of evolves, you could have delayed a couple turns. Particularly knocking out one of those serpents. I would have I would have knocked out one of those serpents. Probably, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Uh well I didn't I did worse than I did last time, but that's fine. That's okay. We're we're all learning. What, do you remember like at the beginning where like I would just lose to every schmo? And then I played for yes. how wait, let me see how many hours have I played this ridiculous game. I've played for hundred and seventy nine hours. That's a lot of hours. I don't think I've played that long. I don't think I've played I'm, I'm any that game high that because, long. I'm only that high because I don't... I'm only at the level I am because I get lucky and just play ranked. Yeah, that happens and sometimes people just quit on you and the first, like, they draw and then they get frustrated and quit. And you're like, alright, I have... That's the, that's the majority of my wins. Yeah, that happens to me all the time. It's just like, I had crap in my hand and people are like, well... I'm through. And then... And then... They quit. I don't like quitting because... The, the time I was talking about was like, I, they could have won, but they got cocky and didn't kill me off, and I ended up destroying their loop. There you go. Okay. You, you get Sorry. there. I'll rematch you sometime. Yes, let's rematch decent. sometime. Thanks, Mary. It was fun playing. Nice playing. See ya. Good luck next person. Dreamers. Sakura style. Sakura dreamers. Oh. Sock of dreamers. How's it going? Pretty good. A little nervous considering what's been going on. We've played before, right? Yes, we have. And I'm, well, I knew that I'd get a rematch, just not this soon. Yeah. I thought, there, you, I thought there would be a lot more people. Did you beat me last time? Nope. You kicked my butt. Oh, man. But I, have, I actually am playing a different deck this time. Excellent. Well, pretty much everybody knows what deck I play. So <laughs> building a deck around making that a painful deck is uh, totally possible. All right. All right, let's go. Ooh, Rowan playing, Rowan playing, Rowan. Welcome to the stream, everybody. <laughs> You've left me no other choice. A little bit. Okay. All right. All right. This draw wasn't awful. So what are we doing? Are we playing? I, I won't. I won't ask you your strategy. You could just play it. You know I'm playing aggro. True. Though I can't really do anything right now. Ah, hmm. uh, the goblins. Goblins are like my fairies, right? Yeah, except they have more defense. They have more defense. Let's play. <laughs> Ugh! All right, more goblins. Bring in the goblins, everybody. It's like, did you ever played Magic? Ah. Uh... I've 
I've tried, but I'm not really good with RuneCraft. No, no, sorry, I meant Magic the Gathering. Oh, yeah. Uh, a few years ago, someone tried to show me how to play it, but I wasn't really following it, and like how he explained it was very, very bad. I see. I remember like it. Um... Let's pick this one. Uh, being able to make these like we used to call them weenie decks, and it was just like a bunch of one-one things that you could you could throw out extremely fast. Oh, you're playing a Machina deck. Not quite. From some something squall to raging tempest, this guy. Me. A good choice. A good choice. Okay. Fine. Let's see what I draw here. Nothing useful. I drew nothing useful, so we'll waste this. Give me that. I've got nothing to fear. I probably very much could have saved that card for later, but fine. Fine, I'll use it now. Mm hmm. Hmm. Do. do you have Rowan's theme playing on your end too? I guess you do because we're in the same stage. Kind of, yeah. We're ramping. Yeah, we are. Fear the dragon's power. Well, I have a bit of a surprise on my end. Hmm. We'll find out soon enough. We shall see. Oh, All right, I got a very full hand now. Break your chains and become the dragon. Say goodbye to you. Ha ha ha. That's rough. Okay. Watch this. No, I know. I've played I've played decks with this in it before. So how do I how do I take care of this? How do I take care of it? I really wish I had saved that uh angelic smite. Let me think. Let me think here. So I gotta put stuff out on the field. Uh That won't do it. Oh, this is this is really crappy, but I have to sacrifice this card, which I usually use as a finisher for this. And it's still only gonna save me a little bit. Be consumed by the dragon's roar. My spear will stop you. Don't let me death. You're ahead of me in the rhythm here. And I think I think you've got a good chance of winning this. Maybe. I, I don't you, know. I think you do. Hmm. Great, now we'll do this. Do that. Very smart. I have made the mistake when playing Jerva before of like putting cards out onto the field and then it being dumb. Uh, now I have like nothing to do here. So let's. <laughs> Let's see what I can pull. All right, we need cards, so I'm gonna take the cards. Wow. Okay. Great. Really, really gonna murder you with these one ones. All right. That was interesting. Hmm. What should I do? Actually. Hmm. If you have a Phoenix Howl, I'm done. Phoenix I Howls plus more. Jerva would be uh, actually really nice. Yeah, Conflagration works too. Yee. I think I'm toast. 
Um, oh yeah, I'm definitely toast. I can't do anything. My dragon calls for blood. Victory is within my grasp. <laughs> all you gotta do is get this off the field. That's all you gotta do, and you're and I'm done. No crush, no smite. Just, just end it. You just gave me an idea. These black wings are unbreakable. Nice. Victory is within my grasp. My spear. Fortunately, that that won't save you. The power. Oh, oh, it did. Sorry, I, I was looking at the wrong thing. Yes. Nicely done. <laughs> Very nicely done. You didn't even you didn't even have to evolve her. <laughs> oh Soccer Dreamer is breaks I don't know, what what was I like at a ten game streak? <laughs> oh, Soccer is losing her mind. Yeah I am. What was my streak, you guys? What did what did, uh, what streak did, did she just break? <laughs> Chat is losing their minds right now. I bet. <laughs> Sakura is the first person to beat me in like, I don't know, three streams, four streams? Well done. Actually, to be honest, I did not think I would win. As soon as you drop that Jerva, like that's the thing. Jerva versus my deck does really well because everything I have is so small. So it's easy to clear the field. That was really good. Eight people streak. You broke an eight, eight win streak. <laughs> Nicely done. Congratulations. Make sure you get in touch with the mod so you can figure out what uh, what print you get, because you get a print. Yeah. Oh, true. Speaking of sending things, I have a question for you. Like, okay. I know, like, you've been sending us posters and stuff, but are we allowed to, like, mail you stuff? Like gifts or drawings or art? Um, I mean, you're always welcome to. The address is on there. <clears throat> oh, yay. Yeah. So you're always welcome to. I don't get them very fast, because that's not my address. Um, but yeah, you're always welcome to. I can't wait. It's like awesome. <laughs> Thanks for playing, Sakura. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Woo! I love it. I love. I love this celebration. You guys, I don't have time to play someone else because I have a session starting in five minutes. But let's see if we can raid a Shadowverse player today. Stop it. Stop it. Shadowverse. I don't want to watch myself. All right. Who's playing? There's only one person playing in English. Uh... Oh, I'm sorry. There are no people playing in English. So let's raid a Fire Emblem person. Let's see what we got going on. All right. I have to move. The first person on here is Grimly. I don't know who they are, but we're going to raid those. No jokes, no gimmicks, just We've got uh, ads making noise over here. Uh, Grimly. Why is it not doing this? All right, we're going to go raid Grimly, who looks like they might be playing uh, Black Eagles. Say hi. Give them some love uh, from the voice of Claude. You guys know what to do. I will see you tomorrow afternoon for some Just Cause. Thanks for stopping by. Love ya.